Hi guys, I'm Andrew from Cruise Master, and today on Cruise Masterclass, we're gonna be talking about coupling maintenance. All right, today we're mostly gonna be focusing on the DO35 and the DO45. However, a lot of the principles we are gonna be talking about as far as maintenance is concerned, do apply to a lot of other couplings on the market, just in various degrees, depending on the features of the couplings. So let's get stuck in. All right, pre-trip. So we're hooking up our caravan or trailer before we, um, before we go on a trip. There's a few things we might wanna have a look at. Um, firstly, we wanna give a bit of a visual overview of the coupling, making sure there isn't bolts missing, major damage, that type of stuff. From there, um, I always find it's nice to give everything just a, a bit of a wiggle, make sure there's nothing loose, particularly I'm um, gonna check your toe pin and things like that before you head off, um, big safety things there. And then from there, the only other thing I would be having a look at is your locking mechanism, um, particularly if you have been operating in, in dirty, muddy conditions, stuff like that. We wanna make sure it's free from any contaminants, heavy grease and stuff like that. Make sure it's still working and make sure it's still got that positive click. Also, whilst you're looking for contamination, check out your topin as well. Make sure it's not heavily gummed up with grease and stuff like that. All right, from there, we're gonna be doing a, um, an annual check, probably at the same time as getting your suspension done. So I'm gonna clear the table here and get a few tools so I can talk you through that. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do as uh, part of an annual check is I'm going to um, grab hold of the cup that you can feel for any play in the bushes. So, you wanna be checking both um, vertically, sideways, and in and out. So this one here has got a bit of um, in and out play there. Um, the first step to um, fixing that is to knock the roll pin out of the back of the coupling here and do the nut up. Now, depending on your drawbar construction, that might be a bit tricky getting in a roll pin, getting a, um, a pin punch in there to knock the roll pin out. Um, but we do find that on most you can get it out. You also find that because it's attached to the caravan, it's quite a bit easier removing that roll pin than trying to do it on the bench on your own. So if the play is excessive and doing up the nut on the back doesn't fix it, then you might need to replace your bushes. Now to do that, it's pretty much the, the start of the last process. You're gonna knock your roll pin out, you're gonna unscrew the nut off the back of the coupling, Good to note, have a rag handy when you do this. If you've been keeping up with the lubrication on it, it could get a bit messy. So take the nut off the back. I'm gonna get my rag now. And just slide the housing off the yoke. Now, I'm not gonna do this because I'm gonna get filthy for the rest of the video, but there's a bush here at the front. You just wanna slide that off the back and there is a bush in the back of the housing here, which looks like that, and you just replace those two. Now on a DO35 version three, they're all round and all the same bush. On, uh, on our other couplings, they vary a bit. So on our website, we've got a cheat sheet that allows you to identify your coupling on which spare parts you are going to need. So obviously we're gonna pull those bushes off, stick new ones on, then we're gonna reassemble so I'm gonna slide the housing back on. I'm just gonna lift it up. Should be a bit easier if you're doing it on the trailer. Now, you might need to um, pull the housing back a bit to get the nut on, because there isn't a lot of room between the handbrake and the back of the oak. So we're sliding that on like that. Now we can wiggle it back in. Whilst we're doing this up, once, um, once the nut is done up, um, you want to replace the roll pin. And in the pack with the bushes, you get a new roll pin, so make sure you use that. Also, the kit comes with a little sachet of grease to you kind of pre-lubricate the bushes um, before you stick them in as well. Just to give it a, give it a head start before you um, fill it up full of grease once you've fully assembled it. So we're almost there. All right, there we go. See a bit of grease squirting out there. All right, so we're gonna finish off doing it up with the spanner. Um, you want it to be reasonably firm because you've got the whole weight of the caravan on the front of the trailer. So it, it, can, be, it can be quite tough. Um, 
And the last thing you want to do is put the roll pin in. So chuck it back in the slot there and give it a whack through so it's flush with the nut and you're done on that process. Now, obviously you have disturbed the grease as doing that. So you want to get yourself a grease gun, which I happen to have under my bench here. Stick it on the grease nipple on the side of the coupling here and give it a pump. You're looking for the grease to come out the sides of the coupling. Um, we use lithium bearing grease, pretty standard stuff, nothing special. Uh, to fill our couplings up with, we do that here in the factory. Um, we use that because it doesn't affect the bushes. It's pretty inert. Um, if, you use, if you use the wrong thing, you can damage the bushes. So um, be careful of that. Um, say, for example, that the coupling is in good condition, all the bushes are fine, and there's no play in that. Obviously, you want to still do the greasing procedure anyway as part of your service to make sure the thing's all running nicely. Whilst we've got a grease gun out and we've greased the coupling housing here, it's also good to put a very, very light smear of grease on the polyurethane bush here as well, just to prevent any premature wear. From there, we want to get the torque wrench out, which I have here. I want to be checking all the mounting bolts. So they are M12s on the DO35, M14s on the DO45. Depending on which version of those two couplings you've got, it could be six bolts or four bolts. The torque specification is in the owner's manual, or if you don't have that anymore, it is online on our website, so you can get hold of that. Um, it is important to note that bolt torques isn't just the thing for the DO35, DO45. It is something across all couplings out there on caravans. Make sure you get those done up. Um, another thing which is often forgotten is the tow pin. Um, so get a spanner on that, make sure that's nice and tight. If you have taken your caravan to somewhere for a service, um, obviously uh, make sure that you point in the direction of the coupling that you want that done. And also when you're picking it up, get them to check the tow pin on the back of your car as well. And nice and tight and you're gonna have a good time. All right, so that's it for the main maintenance operations on couplings. Keep an eye out on our social media channels for future Cruise Masterclass videos where we delve deeper into the DO35 coupling. Make sure you don't miss it.